Hey guys, so we're back with another video. So this is going to be the last one for the men's uh, first round. So this time this features Arian Knighton as well as Christian Coleman at the, f the last heat, which is heat 4 of the men's 200. And then we're going to start looking at the semis and then we will jump into the finals. And then we will close out for the men's 200. Then we will look upon the women's side, which will start from the heats, semis, and then final. After we cover men's and women's heats of the 200 meters, we will start looking at our focus on the, the men's semi for the 800 and the men's final of the 800. And then we will look at the hurdles, the women's 100 hurdles, semi, final, as well as heats. And then the last videos we'll start closing off will be the 400 hurdles, which will be tomorrow. Um, so guys, we will make sure to cover the rest of those things by tomorrow. But the rest of the program will cover that. So that will cover day 6, 7, and 8. Or day 6, 7, and 8. And then day 9 and 10, we will cover the rest of the hurdles as well as the other programs. So I'll give a more generalized update before we jump into the next thing. But like I said guys, thank you guys so much. As always, I can't take this any further. Um, thank you guys for just being with me for this rest of this week and moment because it means so much to me as well as to you guys because track and field is something that is very passionate of mine and that I think that it brings a lot of people together and it has us having um, creative juices when it comes to speculating who's gonna win at the trials who's gonna make the podium I think that's always a fascinating thing every four years to speculate which athlete will make the podium in the world so without further ado let us watch the last heat which is heat four and then we will move on to the semis alright let's go Having his opening right, race, his Arian first Knight. race beat at Now, East mind Olympic. you, we didn't see Arian Knight all the half of the year. And then he came back. And from what I heard, they almost something almost happened which was going to disqualify him. But it wasn't his fault. So I'm just happy he's actually on the stage to perform right now. So congratulations to him. Trials. And here's all you need to know about this man's talent. So let's look at the heats right now. So this is the last heat. So lane one is open. Lane four is open. So you have Chase Mars. You have Dominic Yanyas. You have Arian Knighton. You have Knuckleton Shelvin. You have Christian Coleman, Tyson, and then David Phillips. Alright, let's look at the field. That under 20 record that Sonia talked about, it used to belong to some guy called uh, Usain Bolt. Mm. That's how I finished in lane 5. All right. So we know Coleman is going to sprint around this turn. He always does. He's on the outside in 7. But Knighton should be able to handle him off the home straightaway. I really want too, Coleman to make the team, man. Bit of turbulence I will around. be very Having discouraged because... Not only when they were explaining that at the finals, they said that not only he did not make it from coming from a suspension, he only made the team at the Eugene, I think also at the Relay Budapest, and he didn't make no individual team, which was also messed up if you think about it. Because the U.S. is so in-depth when it comes to... Your spot is not guaranteed. Like I always tell people this, as a, when you're a top athlete, especially in America or even in Jamaica your spot is not guaranteed because there's always the next talent that is ready to take your spot so you have to as a veteran as a as a seasoned veteran you have to make sure to show why you're a veteran because there's always somebody ready to take your spot like you have to be ready on that so that that's always comes with the territory especially when you're running such top performances is you always have someone next in line that is ready to be like I'm next in line it's time for you to step down to take over like that's how people look at it in a business mindset so it's, it's pretty insane 
respond to that. Yeah, and that's a tough thing to go through, I'm sure, for a 20-year-old. He is mature way beyond his years as an athlete, but he is still 20. All right. We you know Chris is going to go out. Nine in yellow in five. Here we go. And Coleman blasted from the block split. Knight and content to just follow him around the turn. Now let's see who's in the big hurry to get to the first line first. Christian Coleman in the middle. Arian Knighton on the right. Arian Knighton's got this under control and wins. 2015. Arian Knighton is 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 literally becoming a dangerous athlete if you think about it like he was the youngest one to make the team as well as the um, Olympics now he is almost like he's a veteran now he's a veteran and the fact that the way he composed himself and still hold his speed with Coleman that's insane that is pretty insane Looks really, really good. And you know what? Otto, not only is he underrated, he's also still very young. And he handled that first round like a seasoned veteran. Doesn't look like there's been any adverse effects of him missing a bunch of races this season. Wow, 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 Otto. I was impressed. You? Yeah, this really was. Given all the turmoil that he has been going through in the last couple of months, this looked like normal. He came off the turn. He knew he had covered Christian Coleman to his right. It was just a matter of Letting the speed come out and relaxing through that tape. He is on to the semifinals. But I tell you what, Tanya and Lee, he is going to have to have a great performance to make this team. Because yes, we've seen Noah and yes, we've seen Kenny. Those two don't look like anybody except each other. So those So we're gonna stop it here. Um like I said, thank you guys so much for so much patience like I said it hasn't been easy covering every single thing um, but I think I'm happy to be content that I'm able to cover things to the amount that I able to put out as much videos as a youtuber I've learned the responsibility of being patient when it comes to making certain videos because sometimes it's not me guys sometimes it's the YouTube algorithm like I have to be very protective of how I cover content due to the fact of all those things but thank you guys um, I'll see you guys at the semis and then we will start closing out the men's um, final and then we'll do it back to back and then we will jump into the final right after this so thank you guys so much like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye